set of the of the respective pool to game five. I'm also really looking forward to more South's performance tomorrow. But that's going to be for another day, for tomorrow's day actually. Now we are in the present. We are in the first game of the last set of the gauntlet in order to wrap up the day and get some rest in order to prepare for tomorrow, which is going to be the main event. We see Romeo Santos doing his uh, usual jab combo. And just uh. immediately commits to the wall building, say, yeah, you're not prepared to deal with this. I'm going to block you from above. Soaring Slash can't deal with even the dirt version of the blocks. Yeah, this is a, like... Yeah, so far, Radiant's got a switch, I think. I don't, I don't know if he should, though. When Krom gets started in this, he can definitely tear Steve apart. I feel like this is just one where he's letting it get away from him because he's already demotivated with how quickly it ended to begin with. Again, we get to see Krom's falling animation. Um, yeah, he, I was really scared, like, since he was on free fall when the block behind, no, beneath him uh, disappeared. I thought it was, it was going to be the end for him, but he actually manages to drift back into the stage and leave another day to try and fight this menacing Steve. Off the wall, and you get punished for doing so. Yeah, it's yeah. really hard to know when you can actually take advantage of Steve's walls or not. Yeah, if in doubt, just throw him away from it. But Radiant, in need of a comeback, wanted to try something cheeky, say, screw it, forward throw F-Smash, and all it managed to do was result in you getting F-Smash by Steve. That was a three-stock, so that certainly went by a lot quicker than your average Romeo Santos game, but he was simply on point. And you still saw how quickly he could build the walls. Just He was also building uh, ceilings above Krom, and that was the cause of a very early kill. Yeah. Jab, 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 miss. Upper, upper. Radiant again sticking to Chrome here. I actually wonder what's the reasoning behind. Since, like, Roy on the recovery has a uh, better multi hit in order to destroy the blocks on his way. But I'm going to believe in him. So far, uh, it doesn't look to have made as much of a difference, but he, it has made some difference, I guess, since uh, by this point on the last game, Radiant will, will be already dead. Yep, so finally we're getting some proper mining in play from Romeo Santos. He's still only got two irons and he's not carrying the heaviest weaponry exactly. The minecart is now all gone, so that's it for your anvils until you do a bit more mining. But I don't think Romeo Santos is that worried because every time they've been coming head to head. Oh well, never mind. You should be worried about yeah, the lack Raiden of angle really there. Really close to taking this first stock in this game, which would be really, really good for him momentum guy wise. Uh, Raiden is really uh, like whenever he feels the momentum, it's hard to stop him. And from coming from that first the game, like the momentum has to be rebuilt. That mind current is really annoying. That's one way to put it. Are you, yeah, not going for a back throw this time. Doesn't want to get punished for landing an attack. Jab back air instead will seal the deal. This is why Radiant, I'm really glad he did stick with Prom after such a brutal loss in game one because it totally can work. I feel like you just needed a fresh game to work with. So we are back to even. We get the nair to nair. Tries to get the conversion of the first hit of the Dancing Blade but doesn't get to anything. Um, Romeo getting a hit of his own, and right now we got a really respectful neutral until Romeo breaks it with a, a jab, or I guess that's Steve's nair. It's yeah. You, you, you kind of look at it and you think about an aerial jab, right? I was watching, I think it was a mock rock video on what is the worst of every move in Smash, and actually put forward Steve's nair for the worst nair in the game because it feels like he's got a good nair because he uses the sword forward air and the sword back air. The guy's got two forward airs and two back airs for some reason. They basically work like a nair. The actual nair doesn't really do anything. Bye. Yeah, oh, that was really wait a minute. scary. 
I doubt so if you, you get the F class. Out in the nine card, but so manages to recover and with punishes the up smash from uh, from Romeo. Yeah, these these up smashes from both of the Steve players, Haunter and Romeo, have been given the only openings that Crom has uh, that Steve has had to deal with in Combray so far. You block the minecart, but too bad it's going to hit you again, and now it's even stocks. Yeah, Romeo. Does Romeo have diamond tools? No, I thought he was hitting the diamond back here. But instead, it was the iron tool who took that stock. Now yeah. we have diamond. You've just got to craft it, and I certainly will. Yeah, this is really scary for Radiant. Up here, back here. Back here again, challenging the minecart. Trying to challenge again, but that was the minecart alone. And Steve was nowhere to be found there. Again, this is the last set of the day so Romeo trying to make this the last game of the day Radiant could still take this though Anvil rolling away also Ooh. evading the minecart Steve I was expecting like a random F smash for a plan C type affair here's the F smash instead Romeo Santos will be moving on to winner's side tomorrow in the top 16 Radiant did really good to win so many games in a row to get that challenge spot was very close as well to taking that game off Romeo Santos but ultimately the power of Steve was too much to bear on this uh, fateful night. Yeah. So, well done to Romeo Santos. You have done it. And well done to everybody watching the stream. You've made it to the 